What's up guys, Sadman back with another review. We're continuing with the brand new McFarlane toy line, Raw Tents, so a new creature line. We're taking a look at Frenzy today, the big great white shark. When I saw the images of this for when they revealed him at Comic Con, first of all, I didn't think these were gonna come out so quick. I didn't think the shark one was gonna be as big as he is. Um, the packaging on this is really nice. This is priced at $19.99. Again, this is McFarlane Toys. You can see the McFarlane logo in the back. You can see it right there in between the Raw 10. And you have the artwork here of Frenzy. This is the great white shark. And there is Raw 10 there. I don't know who this character is. It's obviously an original design. You come to the side, there's a real big image of uh, Frenzy. And then on the back, the other figures from the line. I don't have Battlesnake. I already did a review on Cyborg. Cygor. Check out that one. And then we're going to review Raptar afterwards. So he's got a bio. It says Great White Shark, Power Jaws, Frenzy Strike Fin Action. And uh, it says here, Frenzy is the king of the ocean, every ocean. He is a mix of robotics and the DNA of a Great White Shark. So, oh, he's combined with a prehistoric Megalodon, Super shark for extra terror frenzy was created to be the prototype of a new breed of aquatic aquatic i said that so wrong weaponry but the dangerous minds at the robotic animal warrior raw labs did their job too well and frenzy escaped now he stalks the oceans and unstoppable hunter part shark part machine all deadly love the bio on that um let's go ahead and open this up this guy was priced at 19.99 of course a walmart exclusive but let's open him up and see if he's a pickup or a pass and just like Saigor, you do get a mini poster here, which is so cool. Again, they show like a purplish pink, that's purple color variant. So I'm hoping we get another version of these variants of these creatures, but it's awesome. You get a little mini poster in the back. There is the bio and then it shows you the posters of what the other characters are going to look like as far as our mini posters go. Okay. First of all, this thing is freaking awesome. I mean, you can see the Megalodon right here, the big mouth that he has. Look at that. I don't know if it's, the camera's going to pick it up, but you, it goes deep in there. You can see the different layers of teeth on the top and the bottom. Look at that. This is so cool. I wasn't going to, I wasn't sure if this guy was going to have any articulation in the mouth, but he does. The mouth does open and close. And look at the, uh, the detailing, the sculpting at the bottom of the mouth there. You got some scars here. You can see he's got some red eyes, some more scars over here. And then you got the nose on this side, the eyes, and you have the gills. Look how that looks. Looks like he's got some blood in there. You have the fins. Look how great this looks. You can see the part that is robotics right in the torso. Look at that. Jeez. He's got a really, really cool detail to him. There's a top, and then there's a top fin right here. This one's a little bit sharper compared to uh, Saigor. I don't think had any sharp pieces to him. This one, this one does. Like the fins are sharp. So just careful with that. Look at the battle damage here. All the scars going on. I love the detailing. And you have the lower part of the tail here. See this? Is this articulated? No, it's not. But these are a little sharp. You can see some more like blood or bruising. I'm not sure exactly what that is supposed to be. And some more here. This guy has seen some battles. And the end piece here does have articulation. This part is obviously robotics as well. Look at that. This is sharp, so just careful with that. Look at this. Again, you can see some weathering and some battle damage to it. Very, very nice. Look at this. And then he does have articulation. Again, we already mentioned the head sculpt. It does open, or the mouth does open and close. So you can see that. And he's got rotation, or uh, he can rotate it right here. The lower part also, I think, has rotation. Yeah, you can rotate this as well. And then the end part of the tail also has articulation. I don't think there's any other articul articulation to it. Here's the bottom of him. Let's do a, a little comparison. So since this is a McFarland toy, we're gonna do a comparison next to Spawn and Saigor. So you can see how massive this guy is. Let's give him a little turn here so you can see him compared to Spawn. And there you have it, guys. There's my quick little review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new toy line by McFarlane Toys, Raw 10. We are taking a look at Frenzy, the great white shark with the Megalodon in there as well. This is a beautiful piece, beautiful sculpting, beautiful paint applications. This one so far has to be my favorite one. Um, I thought Saigor was going to be the best one out of them, but this one here, I think it's just the detailing that he has and just the overall look and the size of this great white shark. Absolutely love this figure. You guys in the comments below, let me know, is it a pickup, is it a pass? And what do you think about the line so far, especially the price tag, $19.99. And you know, I went to two different targets, one of them I only found Raptar, and then when I went to the second one is when I found all of them besides Battlesnake, and they had two of each. So. I don't think it should be that hard to find unless there's no Walmart near you guys. But you guys let me know your thoughts overall and then we're gonna review Raptar next. Thank you for watching, thumbs up the video. We'll see you soon. Oh, come back anytime.
Bring your friends!